I was at the point where I couldn't be alone. Uh, I had stopped going to school because I was severely depressed. And it was an everyday thing that I would say, you know, like I can't do this anymore. And I felt like the world was against me. But then I came here. They've made one of the greatest impacts on my life. So we started Camino Casa largely because of the need that we saw in the community. We are focused on kids with serious challenges whose families needed some support and I think the resources that we have available on campus, the physical environment that kids live in here, along with uh, just a terrific treatment staff is um, unique and what really makes a difference. We're a group of individuals that treat the whole person. And in order to treat the whole person, you can't just look at a mental health diagnosis. You really have to see the person for who they are. That's our main goal. How can we provide a safe environment for young people to start telling their story? We deal with tough stuff here. And it's the kind of thing that most of the world loses patience with, with you know aggression and explosive anger or really um, intense depression. These issues are not really who they are, but their behaviors are a reflection of whatever the pain they're in. And each kid is different, and each kid has a different kind of difficulty. And one thing I thought of is that they're counting on us to be smart, to figure out where their pain is coming from. We have kids in the classroom at lots of different grade levels. Um, they can be as young as fifth grade and they can be all up to 12th grade. These families have had to isolate I, at, in a lot of ways from their own families and from their friends, from school, and to see them start to hold their heads up high again and learn the strategies and coping mechanisms that we teach here so that they can implement them is so powerful. I think when you see yourself be able to make a difference in the life of a child, a young person, um, and a life of that family unit, I think that that's meaningful and that feels like we actually have a chance to make a meaningful change and difference. What we have found over time, they like engaging in treatment here and that they're finding that it works. You can do treatment in a short amount of time and it can be extremely effective. When I was here, um, I had trouble using coping skills. So one of the um, staff sat down with me and made a list of the stuff that I didn't try so I could figure out what worked. And she sat there with me every day trying to figure out what it was that would work for me. The idea was throw out all the psychological jargon, all the mental health talk, and just how can we return these families to experiences of joy, knowing that joy would lead to more likelihood that they're gonna engage in difficult conversations and work through their problems. If we can welcome them with open arms and help them feel supported and let the family know that we're all in this together and we're all invested in this youth, it really sets them up for success as they enter into our program. And we have the best and the brightest that work here. Our staff are experts in adolescent mental health. Here at our facility, we're very relational. That's a relationship that heals. So giving the staff the tools of how to be with the, um, with the youth in dealing with their problem behaviors in a way that's healing, the way that makes changes, I think is what one, the one of the prime um, benefits here. Every student comes to us with a different set of circumstances. My first priority in, in really helping them to find success is to let them know that they're really cared about here, not just by me, but by all the staff. You tend to get better results by building relationships, and then you can work into academics. We're making sure that you know we're preparing them to return to that family unit uh, with more skills, more depth um, of knowledge than they had before so that they can be healthier and happier. We really want to send them home in much better shape than they came in. Uh, and that's always our primary goal. We're expanding a lot and with the expansion it allows us to bring in all sorts of new activities. So one thing we're heavily investing on is our staff to make sure that we continue to provide excellent service for all the kids in our community. And the one thing that maybe was was that we needed to add was for these families to have opportunities to just hang out and just have fun and do things together so that they could remember what it's like to be a family, um, remember that they love each other and that they can have fun together, and also an opportunity to create new memories. 
it's a really exciting time to be in this field and to be at this facility. And the people here just care so much about the kids and about the work that they're doing. And it's not something I see all the time in the psych field. So I think we have a pretty exciting future here. Ultimately, what really stuck to me is it's not what you say or what you do, but the kids will always remember how you made them feel. So I think that really resonates with me. It can be very scary for families and youth to come into a residential program um, and a place that they don't know with people they don't know. So we really want to try and help them feel as comfortable as possible. It was a, a, a challenging decision, but she needed the help. Um, and I'm very thankful to the, to the staff and the team here. It definitely gets better. You just have to give it time. But now knowing that I was here and I can do this, I definitely feel more confident in going out and helping other people and telling them, you know, like this, this place helped me. And now I'm able to help other people and tell my story. Transformation takes a lifetime. To be able to bear witness to that and watch these families heal, it's really extraordinary. And we will treat them the way we treat our own children, with the most grace, and compassion and structure that we can give them to help you get your families back together.